found it extraordinary uh, that Labor backbencher clown who introduced the law in relation to decriminalising uh, cannabis possession and use in the great uh, territory, the ACT. He was interviewed by David Spears last week and the first question he got was, well, why isn't this law starting straight away? Why does it have to wait till January next year? His answer was, so we can run a taxpayer-funded public information campaign because uh, evidence is very clear that cannabis use in young people can engender psychosis and particularly for young men with mental health issues on the up, it's a very dangerous thing to do. Well, then why are we doing it? And you live in the ACT. How's the decision gone down? I've got no idea. Um, the ACT is always a little petri dish for every, every crazy left-wing idea that pops out of the Greens and the Labor Party, and they think it's independent of anyone else. I mean, it will be... Uh, it, the, the, the program will, will see drugs flowing into New South Wales, which was one of the reasons the New South Wales uh, police got into it. And, you know, this is part of the, the, the whole thing that we've seen over the lockout, where police for decades were pleading, um, newspapers were pleading for, for tougher laws around, around the cross. And I, I'm glad to see that the Berejiklian government has kept the lockout in place for King's Cross. Yeah, it's interesting, Prue. I'm down in Melbourne on the weekend and last week and I went to the street, the Great Street of Victoria Street, which is a real Vietnamese foodie mm. hub. It used to be about four kilometres worth of restaurants. It's now down to about a kilometre and a half. Everything else is shut down. There are literally roller doors shutting down street fronts. It's signs saying after 30 years we've closed because it's right on the, on the edge of a heroin-injecting room uh, that the state Labor government here promised that they would not do prior to the election. They've done it anyway. They call it a trial. They've just doubled it. Uh, and this is the sort of stuff that people hate. The Police Association in Victoria campaigned against this injecting room, uh, but they're thrown at it anyway by the drug liberalisation lobby. It's happening in the ACT and it's happening here in Victoria. It's such a powerful force, isn't it? You know, I just don't understand. But Dan Daniel Andrews doesn't seem to care... Uh, what the uh, population, what the vote, voters in his or his, his constituents believe in, you know, he just thumbs his nose. And this is another example of it. But it's really unhealthy and we're getting mixed messages about drugs. I mean, are they legal? Are they not illegal? We all know that they harm and kill people. So why are we turning this sort of, you know, blind eye to it and encouraging these injecting rooms? It's absurd. Darren Barnett, do we need another review into superannuation and retirement incomes? I wouldn't have thought so. I reckon Australia voted uh, in the most recent federal election to leave our super alone. There were obviously big concerns about franking credits and negative gearing and other things that affect your retirement income. I think Australians want certainty and they want to know that their uh, nest egg's not going to be interfered with. So... You've got to be careful when you have an investigation as to what it might find and what it might recommend. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't go there if I was the Morrison government.